Don't forget to subscribe if you don't. This will be very helpful for me. Hello friends and welcome to the Munca channel. You want to generate an output based on the source that you can control your subject? Not a problem. The IP adapter are powerful models for image-to-image -image conditioning. Given a reference image, you can do variations augmented by text prompt, control nets, and masks. Think of it as a one-image LoRa. IP adapter allows you to generate all that using attention masking or blend multiple subjects and the environment to generate a single composition by using conditioning combine. If you are new to Stable Diffusion, check out the video in the description. It explains the basics of Comfy UI. Comfy Manager has to be manually installed. Let's start with a basic Comfy UI workflow and see what is required. Go to the Manager and Install Custom Nodes tab. Search for the Comfy UI IP Adapter Plus node and install. Also search for the Comfy UI Essentials and install. Now, from Install Models tab, search for Clip Vision and install both the IP adapter models. It's recommended to download the models directly from the manager, as the models get downloaded in the appropriate folder. For the IP adapter models, go to the Hugging Face page and download all the .safe tensor files within both folders. Place them in your Comfy UI model's IP adapter basic workflow. I put the path below. Here is the folder where I put the models. I put the path below and for hugging face in the description. We will now begin the setup of our workflow. So let's start with a basic one by clicking on Load Default, this will load the basic workflow. Double click anywhere in the space workflow. The search menu will appear, then search for Load LoRa. Take the connector from Clip in the positive prompt and connect it to LoRa Clip Input. Then connect the output from more clip output to positive and negative input nodes. And finally connect the model LoRa output with model input on K sampler. Don't forget to connect the model checkpoint output to the model input on LoRa node. Let's queue prompt to test the connections. It's okay. We have an image with LoRa's effect applied. I changed the sampler for better render and queue prompt again. Now search and add the IP adapter apply node. And a load image node. Drag from the IP adapter inputs and add the following nodes. IP adapter model. I am using IP adapter plus SD15.bin. And clip vision. Connect all the nodes like me.
let's prompt. The reference image here gets encoded by the clip vision model. This encoder resizes the input image to 224 resolution and crops it in the center. Now, if you use any image where the subject is not in the center, you will get an undesired result. This won't affect the current image. It changes the environment slightly. To avoid this, add a note called prepare image for clip vision, which will do all these operations for you. So we search for the prepare image for clip vision node and connect it like I do. You can see the preview of the cropped image. Let's say you take a long image. With this node, you can set the crop position to top and get the subject face centered if the image is too blurry or right, left. You can also choose bottom and pad. Now let's compare the cropping method results in the prep image for the clip vision node. I've saved six images generated, one for each method. The cropping method you choose in the node affects the generation. For the tutorial, I use the first Lanxos method for cropping. I find it the best. Nearest is the worst. Bilinear is better than nearest. However, it is still blurry. Box is mainly used for downscaling the contrast and details are less. When compared to Lanxos, Hemming offers a balance between details and smoothness. Bicubic is the second best out of the lot. It's three weight types. Original, linear and channel penalty. These are at strength one. Let's generate one image for each weight and compare like we do with prepare image for clip vision node. I only generate with the concerned weight and copy images. So what we have? Original is very strong. Channel penalty on the other hand is too sharp. Notice the sharpness around the hair. Linear however at 0.6 strength linear. Leans more towards the prompt. I found this evident as well while using masking combined. Whenever you want the model to give more weight to the prompt reduce the image weight and choose linear. Allowing attention masks for IP adapter defined on which area of the image the IP adapter is applied. Yep, this is can be controlled with attention masking. I am only connect the mask output to IP adapter. 
I drag a new image for blending and generate. The mask is applied on the all ratio image. To apply the eye where you want, you need to define the area. For that, let's edit the mask. What I will do here is just make a small rough mask on the face. The AI will try to generate in this area. So, right click and edit. Then paint the area you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then generate. As you can see, the generation ends applied in the face area only. The goal here is to try and blend two subjects with an environment aesthetics. It's not essential, but I would like to see what works and to what level I have control. I will quickly duplicate the IP adapter nodes. When you have two or more IP adapters, the checkpoint connects to the first end. The K sampler connects to the last IP adapter node. You then daisy chain all the IP adapters in between. I will try blending the two images. I drag a different image to see the changes. And then I keep prompt. It's take a few moment. Yeah. We got a hybrid of the two images with a beautiful haircut. Let's make some change and reduce the weight to half in the Balth IP adapter. Then Q prompt. That did something. I prefer this one. Let's try color masking. Here I will use load image mask. The image mask allows you to define the channel. I will explain that in a bit. So here you choose three colors that is red, green, and blue. What color is for what doesn't matter? I have taken blue as a background. I will define the subjects as red or green. One thing you should take note of is that the color code for this should be pure blue, green, and red. Any color variation will not work. This can be created in Paint, Photoshop, or any graphic editing tool you have. The drawing has to be a rough and cute prompt. The outcome is as expected. However, you have to be careful here with the order of the flow. Let me explain. The first image is connected with the first IP adapter. The second image with the second IP adapter. Red is on the right and green is on the left. Results when using multi-IP adapters with masking the sequence directly affects the output order of the inputs, like the mask image prompt IP adapter nodes. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't. This will be very helpful for me. So keep in touch and see you soon.